Hello, once again to another tutorial on how to make a game in Game Maker. And in the last tutorial, we went over uh, beginning on how to write or draw surfaces. And we're going to continue this tutorial by finishing off our bullet class and adding some other events in there and just finishing it up. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, add a collision event with the wall. And I'm just going to put a simple bounce block here against solid objects. It doesn't have to be precisely. Uh, okay, that's good. Next, we want to have a draw event. Add some code in here. And then <clears throat> this is what we're going to do. We're, we're going to want to draw the shadow and the actual sprite. So we want to draw the shadow first so the actual sprite is drawn on top of the shadow. So what I'm going to do is uh, put draw sprite uh, extra and sp I'm just going to put a sprite, sprite index just move this over here sum it, image is image index uh, x and y we want it to be a little bit offset so I'm going to offset it by like 2 pixels on both the x and y so there we go and the x scale is just 1 to 1 and rotation it's going to be image angle, be the same rotation of the actual bullet. The color is going to be zero or completely black, and the alpha is going to be 0.5, or basically just half the half the transparency. Okay, now we're going to actually draw our sprite, which we can basically just copy off this and just get rid of that, get rid of that, and our color can be negative one. I think that's it an image alpha at default that's one so it should show up like that and I think we're good to go uh, on that next thing is to have the bullets actually fly out once we shoot them so I'm actually gonna copy this because it's almost like shooting a bullet except we're going to name it s for shell and just get rid of this uh, we don't need Sh actually do we need that uh, I think we do just give me a sec. Yeah, I think yeah we, we do need that. And uh, uh, I don't think we need this, do we? Because we set it in the bullet. We set it in the bullet, right? Yeah. So we already set the bullet uh, speed over there. So all we have to do is uh, set its direction. Uh, it's actually going to come out the same place the bullet's going to come out. So we can just leave that the same. And uh, instead it's going to oops we have two object bullets so I'm going to name this something different object bullet shell uh, so it's going to be called bullet shell okay there we go and get rid of this and direction we're going to make this sort of random uh, and we're going to want it to be coming out of one side of the gun so I'm going to say image angle minus 90 degrees and uh, let's have it like uh, minus 90 minus 110 so that's 90 plus t uh, 20 and the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to add a random amount and it's going to be 40 so it's going to uh, randomize in 40 degrees between 90 de no between uh, 100 negative 110 degrees and negative 70 degrees I believe so that's how it's going to differ and then the image angle let's just see we'll just have it completely random uh, uh, okay, so random, ran, let's just say 180, that's fine. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and test this, pause it, and see if everything works. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, I start shooting, and there's like bullet shells flying out of one side of me. And it gives a pretty nice effect without lagging the game. Uh, it just adds a new element. Later on, we'll be doing pretty much the same exact thing except for body parts. So, 
the zombies body parts will actually be like flying around once we kill them so they'll be like dismembered which is pretty cool so as you can see the bullet shells are just like lying there uh, forever and it's not really slowing down the game because it's just drawing one image and it doesn't really matter how many bullets you shoot it's still drawing one sprite and it's not slowing down game time so uh, it actually it is sort of laggy on my system and that's because I'm running a Minecraft server uh, the internet my email and all these other applications at the same time so that's why you're seeing it a little bit slow but uh, that's pretty much it I think we can start moving on to enemy dismemberment uh, but I think this will be the end of this tutorial sorry it was a short tutorial but uh, next you have the next tutorials to look forward to uh, okay so thank you for watching this tutorial uh, please rate and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.